Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners and in this video we will see how we can download and install Qt on our Windows operating system. So this Qt uh, framework comes with Qt uh, Creator IDE, Qt SDK and uh, some other tools like Linguist and uh, some other tools, right? So we are going to see how we can download and install Qt on our Windows operating system. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Qt. And the first link, hopefully, which will appear here will be from Qt.io. Okay. So just click this link, which is Qt.io. And once you click this link, you will be able to see this kind of uh, web page, which says build your world with Qt. And you will see this button, which says get started. So just click this button which says get started and it's going to ask you a few questions before installing uh, you know Qt. So it's asking first of all is your application or device being developed for commercial purposes or in-house deployment private use or student or uh, open source di distribution. So for now we are going to choose this option because we uh, want to learn uh, you know Qt so we are going to use the open source option now the next uh, question it's asking is are you prepared to make your application source code publicly available yes we want to uh, do this and the next question it's ask is are you able to comply with the LGPL uh, you know agreements and this time also we are going to say yes okay so now uh, once you answered all these three questions you can uh, download Qt for free which is an open source version of Qt so just click get started here and in here you will be able to see this download button okay so you can click this download button and Qt uh, executable will be downloaded on your uh, Windows operating system now if you are interested in other uh, you know downloads you can click this uh, link here which says view all the downloads right so if you don't want to bother about other downloads you can just click this download button and it's going to uh, you know download Qt but for me I personally like to use uh, the Qt with MinGW compiler which is a GNU compiler so I would like to uh, download this version of Qt which says uh, Qt 5.6.0 for Windows with MinGW okay but you have a Visual Studio compiler also 2015 as a first choice and if you don't have any good reason to choose other uh, options you may want to choose this first option right or if you don't know anything you just uh, need to click this download now button and you will be good to go okay so it's a about you know 1 GB of executable file you can see the you know uh, the memory it's going to use on your computer it's around um, 830 megabyte for this uh, Visual Studio compiler and for MinGW compiler it's around 1 GB okay so when you download it it's going to take some time to download so be patient and once your Qt executable is downloaded we are ready to install it so I'm going to minimize my browser and I'm going to go to the location where I have downloaded my executable file so this is the executable file I have downloaded so I'm going to just double click it and I'm going to minimize this uh, window explorer here and it's going to start the Qt installation so the first uh, setup you will be able to see this kind of interface here and you can see at the time of making this video Qt 5.6 is the latest version but in your case if you are seeing this video later then this can change to something like 5.78 or something like this okay so just click next here and in here it will ask you to provide your uh, email and password or if you want to sign up with your Qt account 
but for now we don't want this so we are going to skip this step and I'm going to click this button which says skip and then it's going to just uh, give you this option which says welcome to open source uh, Qt 5.6 setup we are going to say next and this will be the location where Qt will be installed so it's going to install at C colon slash Qt slash Qt 5.6 so if you don't have the good reason to change it just leave it as default and then click next and these are the tools which will come with your uh, you know qt setup which is qt 5.6 and the other tools you can see these are the other tools which are going to come with uh, your uh, qt uh, you know setup so here i'm going to just say select all okay so it's going to download this uh, Minji version or in your case if you have downloaded the Visual Studio compiler then it's going to show here uh, Visual Studio 2015 or 16 something like this and then it's going to come with uh, Qt Canvas, Qt Location and Qt Quick Controls, Qt 3D and other tools for Qt okay so select all here and then click next and then here you will be asked to agree with the license terms and conditions so you just need to choose this option which says i agree and then click next and here you just need to click next once again and then you just need to click install here now this is going to take some time so you need to be patient in order to you know this process to complete because it's going to take some time in my case whenever uh, last time I installed uh, this Qt uh, framework on my Windows operating system it took around one hour okay so you need to be patient for this process you can you know just leave it in background and do your work for some time and once it's installed we are going to see the next step okay so let it run for some time so now after waiting for 30 to 40 minutes the Qt setup has been done and the Qt framework is installed on my Windows operating system and now I can see uh, this kind of interface which says launch uh, Qt creator I will leave it as checked so that as soon as I click finish it's going to launch the Qt creator ITE okay so just leave it as checked and then click finish and it's going to launch your Qt creator IDE now once this Qt creator IDE will be launched we are going to create and test uh, our Qt creator by creating our uh, first uh, you know any widget program or uh, some C++ program so now we can see this Qt creator is uh, open and we will test this Qt creator by creating some project so to create a project we will go to file here and then go to new and in here for now I'm going to just choose application and then uh, Qt widget application and then I will click choose and in here I'm going to just uh, give the name of my project for example test Qt and uh, the default location here will be whatever in your case in my case it's document but uh, you can change it to uh, any other location right I'm going to leave it as default and click next and you can see here it's going to use uh, desktop Qt 5.6.0 Minji W in my case but in your case it may be Visual Studio 2015 or something okay so click next and it's going to create uh, these kind of classes and I'm going to leave them as default and click next and then I'm going to click finish so it's going to create me a sample um, Qt GUI project and now to just to check it I'm going to build it so to build it you just need to right click and then uh, click this build option here and you have one more option which is this hammer kind of uh, 
uh, tool here or icon here you can press this and build your uh, project so I'm going to just press this which is going to build my project and you can uh, see the progress of your build here in this progress bar so it when it reaches green or when it becomes green then your build is successful then you can uh, click this um, green button in order to run your uh, project so I'm going to just click this green button and once it runs then you know that Qt is uh, installed successfully on your uh, Windows operating system so in my case it's uh, running so I know that Qt is uh, you know installed successfully now in the next video we are going to see uh, how we can create our first Qt uh, project step by step and I'm going to explain each and every code step by step so I'm going to explain what is this um, main window or in your source you can see our main.cpp uh, you know file here and I'm going to explain what is this uh, queue application and uh, other uh, you know uh, options here okay so we are going to see step by step how to create our Qt uh, project so I hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now